What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to do some sealed War of the Spark pre-release goodness here on MTG Arena. Thank uh, I think these are best of one. I assume everything is best of one. Seven matches got to be best of one, right? So we're going to do that. Seville Pippin, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. 13 months in a row. Also, we have some Orangina snacks. Uh, this was brought to us by Kerwit from Japan, and it says born in France. Made in Japan over here on the corner. Orange, excuse me. <laughs> you know, Orangina. It's not Orangina, right? That would be weird. <clears throat> I don't know, Orangina. It's Orange. Orange. Am I? Am I? I have to be. That's got to be correct, right? Thank you. So I am gonna open them, and it looks like they're sparkling. Like these bubbles on the side make me think that it's like a sparkling orange candy. Chris, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. All right, so they look like thank this. You. They're just little. They're just little cans, little little bottles. Oh, that's pretty good. It's definitely Gina, orange Gina. Is it really? Yeah. All right, let's do this limited War of the Spark. Pretty really sorry. Ooh. Okay. Rolesk, Soul Diviner, Nissa. So we got three red rares and three green blue rares. Okay. This guy's good. Probably not great and limited, but he's good. Okay. I watch all your uploads on YouTube. Thanks for the classic content. Chris, thank you so much for saying so, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. Um, yeah, these are very good. Very, very good. Are they, um, Josh, Josh hates the, the chewing sounds, which is pretty hilarious to me. Um, <clears throat> okay, so this is, uh, this feels hard to parse. Can I do this? No. Okay, I was looking for a way to see the cards, like, in converted mana cost order, because this is, oh, it's not... I have to figure out, like, I have to, like, figure out how to parse these. Where I can see, like, the colors that I have. How do I, can I sort by casting cost? Can I sort by anything other than... I think floaty McChunk Claws. I'm going to assume that's Rolesque. But I agree with you. I think this card is great. Uh, Vraska also seems good, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna lean Mana Geode seems good. Uh, and there's with X1 encounters some damage you dealt to it. This seems good. It's a five five for five, a six six for six. Like this scales really well. Uh, when there's battlefield, the top card of target opponent's library. I don't care about that. Although it is a two three flyer for four, which is not terrible. <clears throat> Prismite also seems. Uh, it's two mana adding. Eh, it's all right. It's all right, I guess. It's all right. Vampire Birds of Paradise. Where's where is that? Did I miss it? Are you talking about Paradise Druid? That's what I thought you were. He's the go oh the the I got you I got you. This thing that's a nightmare beast. That's not a vampire. Come on, get it together. No, your nightmare beasts. All right, we're definitely playing Nissa. I don't think this Nissa is great, but it is a planeswalker. So you know. Creatures gain trample. <clears throat> oh, Tyrant Scorn seems good. They're probably going to be Saltai guys. Let's be real. This guy is just... This is literally just Vine Mare, but for five instead of four, right? <clears throat> I mean, if that's the case, it's probably playable. Uh, best of one. We might want Return to Nature. Proliferate seems good if we're playing like three, four Planeswalkers. Is this card common? Okay. Okay. Uh, Primordial Runs is pretty huge. Challenger Troll 565. Five. Each creature you control with power 4 or greater can't be blocked by one of them. That guy's just fine. Uh, this is a 2 4 for 4 that adds one mana of any color, which is also great. I'll probably play both of those. This is a 4 4 for 4 that proliferates when Ares Battlefield. Also seems pretty good. <clears throat> Putting a 1 1 counter on creatures with all our proliferate seems good. GK Spidey, thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Metal Joe, thank you much. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I uh, almost missed that one. 
Thank you so much, dude. Do we... Are there not... Are there not guild gates in the set? Are we just literally whatever we whatever manas we have? That's fascinating to me. Um, Augur of Bolas don't care. Return an online permanent to his hand. This is pretty decent. It's just a bounce spell that makes a 1-1. One, one. I mean, that's pretty good. <clears throat> also because it has a counter, like the proliferate becomes very, very good. Uh, don't like that. Eh, this card's probably fine and limited. That's eh, whatever. Probably gonna play Erratic Visionary. It's just a good two drop. What up, Cloud? A mass three. Nope. Nope. Okay. Don't care about you. Enchant creature. Wind chain nap. Don't care about that. Aid the fallen. Return a creature or a planeswalker. That's probably pretty good. Or both. You're a 2-2. Two -two. You're actually fine, but I don't think we're there yet. Eternal Taskmaster seems great. Oh, we have two Eternal Taskmasters? Yes, please. <clears throat> yeah, Callous Dismissal is basically a 1-1 one -one mana war for 2 mana instead of 2-2 two -two mana war for 3 mana. Uh, target creature gets plus 2 indestructible. That's this is, this is always a fine combat trick. Yeah, we have two Taskmasters. I always, I mean, Taskmaster is a card that because it's a zombie and it returns creatures to play, like, you think it's only going to return zombies, but it's literally just return any creature for three mana. And it's also when it attacks, it's not when it connects. So it has a lot, of, it has a lot going for it. Um, what's our curve looking like? We have a lot of two drops, which seems very, very good. <clears throat> I could see putting, uh... Herald of the Herald of the Dread Horde. Uh, oh, an Omnixilis. Whenever our opponent draws a card, destroy a creature. It's control. Oh boy. I mean, it's basically sacrifice. It's a negative two. Sacrifice a creature. Draw two cards, or get rid of their ten ten flyer, and they draw two. I don't think it's terrible, and it's probably worth playing because it is. It is a. Uh, it is a planeswalker. Yeah, I'm just going to play it. It's a Planeswalker. <clears throat> Do you just play the Return of Nature in the main deck? I probably want the Prismite just for the mana fixing. Like, if it costs us one extra mana to make a red and we really need a red, like, it's probably fine. Yeah, Soul Dimmer actually seems really good in this deck. That's insane. Um, <laughs> you suck, you jackass. Hey, Shooter, want to go to Scissor later? I'll buy it. It's a solid Happy Gilmore reference there. <clears throat> this guy actually seems fine. It's a 1-1 one -one that makes a 1-1. One -one. And then you also get... Uh, yeah, I could see playing this guy, and I kind of just want the um, the Return to Nature just to deal with an enchantment or an artifact, because it's best of one. Or I could take the Prismite and fix our mana just a little bit. Yeah, I think I just like Prismite here. Because there's no fixing in the format, there's just a bunch of... I definitely want to go up to this, and we'll probably cut one Swamp. Maybe? Eh, I don't like that. Yeah, I guess we're just going to play 665. I think it's it's fine. I don't know... I don't know why there's no guild gates in this format. Are there guild gates? Why is it only showing these when I click on this gold ring? Oh, I guess those are the only gold cards we have left. Um... Are there guild gates I'm just not seeing? I don't. I want to make sure like I'm not missing anything. No, I don't think so. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see how difficult it is. I have no idea. Like, I mean, it could just not matter. Man, only two guild gates. That's weird. Well, 
I guess this is going to be way more of a two-color set than a three-color set, so... Yeah, I'll keep this. <clears throat> oh, it's I'm playing first, I guess. All right. All right. Solid experience. <clears throat> Solid play experience. I don't know why you even joined, but all right. Currently undefeated. Sure, same thing. We got a Leyline Prowler. Two two drops. I'll keep. We're doing it. Every creature is a 2-3. 2-3, 2-3, 2-3, 2-3. That's pretty good. Joke's on you. I can get that dude back. Okay, so what we're going to do with four mana, four manners, we play this guy, and play this guy. Land or Battlefield Proliferate. Okay, just Jai is greeting all my all my taskmasters. Three or six five. Let's go six five. No attacks. I say you drop the chungus. It's always dropping the chungus is always the correct play. Oh, the yellow rally, little rally zally. What does he do? Whenever you cast, or... Uh... <clears throat> That's pretty good. We can actually just kill this guy and then kill their route, I believe. Less likely now. One, two, three, four, five, six... been through worse. Yeah, I'm probably going to finish off these Aranginas. Not Arangina. Glad I can finally support you a little more after watching for a year. You and all the mics, chat included, have helped me through a lot and it feels great to be in the GK Spidey, thank you so much for saying so, man. I really appreciate that. I'm glad I could help and I hope things are, uh, are or begin to look up. Did you know that Ral has been through worse? I heard that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, we can't kill either of these. <clears throat> we can actually Obnixilis to destroy this. And, and then they draw two, which feels bad. Feels Batman. <clears throat> I'm about to bust. I know exactly what to do. I want a Hank Hill planeswalker that goes when you when you tick it up, it's like I'm about to bust. <laughs> oh man. Oh, New Horizons, huh? Well. See you later. Exile a tapped creature. That's pretty good. Oh, it deals damage to the tapped creature. Okay, sure. I'll squash you like a roach. I'm tempted to just make them draw three. I think we can kill both planeswalkers if we do this right. Three and then three. Oh, we can just do that. That seems much better. Peace. I'm out. We can we can actually make a make a token here. <clears throat> As a human, I conquer. As a demon, I subjugate. History, others will learn from you. Ooh Um, I think we're, I think we're good like this, right? I actually want to eat this because I want to get a token out of this, not a 2-2, so. We can just end the turn. It is just a small headache. You got it. I think they're running out of juice here. Not me, though. Not me. Oh, ho. Oh, buttery biscuits. Buttery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna end the turn. I don't need to draw cards here. We could actually sacrifice this guy. It's just a one-one. I am your inner demon. Yeah. Salta is obviously the most powerful strategy in the format. Sultai isn't a strategy, it's a way of life. You're correct. I think our first round was still the most impressive. Why don't I get a cool glowy orb with an XP bar? Uh, I don't know, it's like a new player thing. It's because this is not my account. This is the VIP account. This is the, the early access streamer account that they gave us. So. Snap keep. We have two two drops and two three drops.
Oh, look at that little prismite. <clears throat> Skeletal cat, thanks so much, buddy. Thank you for the bits, my dude. Uh, I kind of want this guy in play because next turn we can proliferate. So we can play this dude. Put a counter on him. No attacks. Uh, next turn we play Bloom Hulk, put a counter on it. Now it can't do that, dang it. We still get to proliferate, so that's pretty cool. Oof! Uh oh. So we can actually make five mana right now, but. The problem is, I don't think this is surviving now that they have three, four flyer on turn two. It says submit zero. Okay, now we've selected them. Share in my strength. I mean, we still have a five, five, and a four, five. So even if, even if Zhang Yangu doesn't make it, So there are peacocks in my backyard right now, and man, they are loud. <laughs> peacocks are cool, though. I would appreciate their loudness just because they look so sweet. What sound does a peacock make? <laughs> Mao. If, you, if peacocks were in your backyard going, Mao. I think it'd be very strange. Uh, Mo. Can't be friends with everyone. Yeah, saw that one coming. I mean, we got like three counters out of that guy, so I'm not too concerned with it. So, four power total, so we can just attack with both of these guys. And we get to play one... Th Actually, we can play Geode and we can play Prismite. Which is probably better than playing the other guy, because it gets a mana out and it gets a creature out, whereas this just gets a creature out. I guess it gets both out, but... Uh, I don't care about that. Poor guy, what poor guy? The Planeswalker? The peacock could get all the time and crap all over the backyard and scream at our dog. That sounds amazing, though. Also, way to go for that peacock. I'm actually so I don't have to keep digging my hands through here. Here's a little, here's a little, here's a little tip. When you get like a bag of chips and you get real low on the chips, you can just take the top off the bag so then you get a little handy pack. That way you don't have to dig your hand in and get all your 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 hands don't get all covered in cheese that's on the edge of the bag. That's a life hack right there. Psychopath, wow. You're not my dad. That's true. That's fair. Or you could put the chips in the bowl the first time. Yeah, but then you have to wash a bowl. So what's the point of that? This is the last Orangina. What is this? 5 3? Wow, we have 11 power on board. I mean, this doesn't have trample, so I'm just going to block and get it back next turn.
Uh, do I want to pay the three for this? I think I'd rather just play Ward Scale. But. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. We have six mana. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Like, we have to block everything, I imagine. If I'm going to play one or the other, I'd rather just play the one that I can get back for free. Or I'd rather just play this and keep uh, Prism I can hand. So, this is all fun. Ryperk, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Skeletal Cat, well, just realized you're surprised. You're soul tie, and I'm not surprised bits. I missed those. Thank you so much. Thanks, buddy. I'm glad you're not surprised. Um, are the notifications going off on stream? I feel like I'm missing them. Like, I'm just not hearing them. Alright. That seems desperate. Okay. Five in the air. Okay, let me refresh them anyway. I just want to make sure. Okay. Hmm. If we put a counter on this, then we have lethal threats. This is what's known as three lethal creatures. And neither of those do anything. So this one card off of one blue would have to do it. It did not. Felix, I think it's pretty okay so far. I haven't had any glaring issues with it. I've enjoyed the standard matches we played. Oh, let me... Uncommon? Always an uncommon. Always an uncommon. I'll keep this. Any green source, and we got we have a thing to play. And any green source lets us play the other two things. I just got a I just got a text from uh, from Elk Tears, and it's a picture of of watching the stream and four Impossible Burger sliders from uh, from White Castle. So. It's not. It's it's much clearer than that. It's just not focusing. But my jealousy is pretty real right now. <clears throat> I'm like, what a time to be alive. Ban it. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that would have been nice. Oh, it's your boy. Oh man, we're so good at this game. It's unbelievable. Kagane, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Also, I just got a notification. I ordered a new wallet and uh, and uh, Mortal Kombat 11 is on its way. So the, my package is not is 11 stops away right now. So eventually, when the stream ends. I'll go jam some Mortal Kombat 11 with, with Michael B, I, I assume. Um, does this guy float? Yes, it does. This guy's very good. 
This is the stream that never ends. It just goes on and on. Some people started streaming it. It is the stream that. I don't think we attack here, right? He's Q Chicken? What does that even mean? I don't even know what you're saying right now. Eh, no attacks. Oh, man. And Kfer just sent me a message. And that was pretty funny, but I'm not even going to show that one because... All right, what do we got here? We have like 7,000 mana. What movies do you end up going with for the Watsy streamer profile? What does that mean? Oh, that wasn't for the Watsy streamer profile. That was for the team. That was for the Fade to Karma uh, questionnaire. And I actually went with the Breakfast Club. They asked what 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 if you could if you could relate your stream to one movie, what would you go with? And I was like, the Breakfast Club, because it feels like uh, it's a real a motley crew of a bunch of different personalities that end up really meshing well together. I felt like that was a good choice. I don't like playing Jang Yangu because it just literally dies in one turn. I think it's just this guy. I've seen that movie. I've seen that movie. I get that reference. Um, I don't really want to play that either. I'll be honest. I don't think we have anything to really do here. That's good. Looking back. This card's pretty good. I don't think we got any of these guys or else we would have played them over like probably over Prismite. If you let Jang Yu die again and he says something sad, I'm gonna cry. It's Jang Yangu. I think that's how it's pronounced. Oh, look at this dude. That's actually pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that, just on the track. Got a seven, seven thing. Cancel those attacks. No attacks. It's actually pronounced Gina Yang. <laughs> oh, touche. Joke's on you, it's just gonna get bigger next turn. That's what she said. I think this is actually a pretty solid block here. Believe it or not, that'll do. I'm gonna keep this hand. Let's start with this guy. 
Is it possible to update the deck list? No, for one, this is limited, so it's not going to have a limited deck list. And for two, uh, War of the Spark cards are not available in Stream Decker yet. The orbs and the skill tree are things that are just in this because it's like it's for the new players and this is just a new account from Wizards. Who is worth noting sponsoring this uh, this streamer early access event? Uh, make sure I want to say that. I did mention at the beginning of the stream. I did want to mention at the end now because, well, obvious reasons. Put a 1-1 counter and then proliferato. So put two 1-1 one -one counters. We could just trade here. I don't think that's bad. It gets a 4-3 off the board and we gain two. It's first strike. We're not going to do that. Did I have this on turn two and I just didn't play it? Or did I move it? Because I thought I might have thought this was the bounce spell. I thought I was gonna. I was like, oh, we'll just bounce this on our turn. But then I was like, oh wait, we can't do that. Wow, I'm terrible. Okay, that's good to know. The only reason I got back into arena is because you started doing arena content, and I was like, that seems like a decent client. You've been one of those consistent magic streamers for literally years. Valtrek, thanks so much for saying so. Really appreciate it. it means a lot, buddy. I'm just gonna play this for five. Someone just walked in, I don't know what's going on. It was, Mike B just left the house, which is very weird. I don't know where he's going. Oh, I think he said he was going to have dinner with his parents tonight. Um, Alright, so we got this guy on lockdown. We can put a 3, one three hands on land. Becomes an elemental with vigilance and haste. That's still a land. You get an emblem with lands you control. Have indestructible. Search your library for any number of forest cards. Put them on a battlefield. Tap and then shuffle your library. Interesting. Oh my god, sleepy and sneezy. That's... <laughs> Kind of, kind of comically accurate, I think. Um, I think we're just playing this, and I like that you tap the blue source. That's nice. So now I have to tap a blocker, but oh well, it is what it is, I suppose. Interesting, interesting choice. And now I have an untapped forest, but all right. Being his dad, wouldn't you know if he's having dinner with his parents? Wow. Wow. My honest stream question, how was my 7 a.m. wake-up call? Did that happen yet? Which Was that from when you were here? Well, this is a nice Vivian read. Vivian, champion of the wilds. Flashy creatures. Uh, until your next turn, one target creature gains vigilance. That's fine. You fight like a city brat. And you can exile a face down and put the rest on the bottom of your library. For as long as it remains, actually, you look at this card and cast it if it's a creature. Oh, this is the one that gives flying to other things, huh? Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. So if we proliferate, it's going to go on here, here, and here. I guess we could play land. Nissa to untap a forest, then proliferate onto it. One here, one here, 
Oh, does it automatically select all of them? Wow, that's interesting. Imagine they block here. No, they just let it down. Okay. Not again. Yes, again. It's Vivian, but her full name is Vivian Reed, right? five not thrilled about that can we no we don't have that much oh what's that what's this what's this I can't believe my eyes um four five six and we go up to seven with this guy so it's not terrible Wait, it doesn't untap it? Untap it, it becomes an 03. Why is it? There we go, okay. It just took a second, I guess. Well, yep, that's 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 the game, isn't it? Yep, that's the game, because Trusted Pegasus is a stupid magic card that should not be a common, but I guess we didn't learn our lesson. Even though we made it an uncommon in the last set, now it's a common again. And we just can't deal with six power in the air every turn. That's sad. One, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We can deal 17 damage this turn, but that's not enough. Nothing has flying, just to be clear. Sure. Yeah, not only is it the common, it's actually a better attacker than the previous 1-3 that was an uncommon. Like, I feel like this was a common for like a couple sets, and then they're like, this card is very, very strong. Let's make it an uncommon. And now they're like, no, let's make it a common again. It's really kind of strange. It's a very strong card. Giving your biggest creature like a 6-6 six, six, or a 5-6 five, or a 4-5 flying is just nuts. And now we just get to, like, they go to 3 and we just get to die here. There's like a spider on... There's a spider on my mic. I don't know what to do with you, little guy. I'm gonna go put this spider outside. Alright, so we're 3 2. One of those wins didn't really count. <sighs> so now we are 2 2, technically. He went outside. That was so strange. He was just right on the microphone. I was like, what are you doing here, little guy? Well, we didn't we didn't have any of that good good removal, so. I'm gonna play the green first because we have a lot of cards. Uh, we have gold cards that are green. We also have the blue black guy, so I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. This hand's kind of slow, but 
I don't know how fast this format is, especially because it's sealed, so. Are you going to a live pre-release? Yes, I am. Uh, probably Predator over, over Geo here, that seems better, right? Well, I guess now it seems worse, but... I like this 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 uh this assassin art is pretty sick. Uh okay, so they drew two here. Wow, that's insane. They drew Dreadhorde Butcher, which is a rare, and Ashiok, which is a rare. That's cool. Or an uncommon, I guess. Eh, it doesn't really do much though. Well, unlimited actually does a lot. Well, I have no answer for a Niv Mizzet, so that's cool. Turn five Niv Mizzet seems good and limited. Nobody appreciates my turn five an artist when it comes to murder. Villy, have a good afternoon, buddy. I have to go back to work, man. I thought I thought most of the time you watched at work. What did they hit? They hit a Planeswalker, a rare, and a 6-5 uncommon. So we're going to draw a land here. They're going to kill Varaska, presumably. Sure. Wait, what? Do they know we have blockers? Wait, why would they just attack this? Don't be surprised if we meet oh, again. Oh, sure. Yeah, whatever. I feel like Ashok just make a. Oh, I'm actually curious what the Ashok voice is. That's interesting. I must have missed it. Yep, you can go on the bottom, because you suck. All attacks here. Take you back, go to the face. Oh, I guess we could have done it the other way, because... Oh, I guess we didn't have to do that. Wow, that sucks. I actually thought this was... I thought the ability was connected to Vraska. Does the stream sound soft very well? I mean, I'm hitting the yellows pretty high. I don't actually know what to do about that. Like, I, I feel like from day to day I don't change anything, but sometimes I feel like the stream sounds soft. What was this? Just a 6-5 haste? That's, that's good. That's nice. Well, we get to deal 7 before we get to... I'm sorry, what is this? I, I don't know what's happening right now. You're drawing a million? Sure, whatever. Shadow Heart dies, return to the battlefield. What happened? Why did it die? I don't even know what's happening right now. What what happened? Oh, they sacrificed... They put Kaya's ghost form and then they spark formed it to destroy it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you got it. I can't... I guess I can't deal with double cast Niv Mizzet and limited with... With three lands in hand. Sure. Alright, so... 2-3, essentially. Not as good as I was hoping, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's an indication of the format. This is our first pre-release ever, so... Um, Okay, that was a, was a weird in-game advert. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching that sealed that sealed deck that we just did. I don't know if it's any good. We'll have to do another one to find out. But thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you're watching on Twitch. I'm not leaving 
If you're watching on YouTube, you can check me out at manatraders.com. The link is in the description below along with the promo code that you can use to get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. You can also use meundies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 20% off, 15% off, along with free shipping and free returns. So be sure to check that out as well. And uh, you can also uh, check me out on coolstuffinc.com. You can use promo code Frank5 there and get 5% off. All of those links are in the description below, so be sure to check those out. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.